MLB The Show 22, How to Hit the Ball Better. Welcome to Top 10 Sports Media. Hey there, fans. In this video, we're going to take a look at MLB The Show 22, How to Hit the Ball Better. We have researched tips and tricks to improve your hitting in the game, and this video is the result of that research. Please feel free to leave your impressions of our methods in the comments section below. We'd love to hear your opinions. Now let's light the fuse on this and stand back and enjoy. Before we get into our MLB The Show 22 hitting tips and tactics, it's worth recalling that Ty Cobb holds the record for the best batting average in Major League Baseball history with a career mark of 366. This indicates that he managed to get his bat on the ball roughly once per three at-bats for the course of his professional career. Put another way, you shouldn't expect to strike the ball every time because it's supposed to be complicated. Nonetheless, these techniques can assist you if you're experiencing problems hitting. Here is how to hit the ball better. By the way, make sure you click that subscribe button to stay up to date with our engaging videos and use that trigger finger by smashing that like button. Now let's get into it. Directional versus Zone versus Pure Analog – Best Hitting Interface In MLB The Show 22, you may choose between three different hitting interfaces, each affecting what you need to perform throughout each at-bat. The three types of controls are described below. 1. Zone Zone hitting is a technique that combines timing and location. Before the ball reaches the plate, change the plate coverage indicator (PCI) and then time your swing to make contact with the ball. Your player's statistics, the sort of swing you take, your timing, and the pitcher's statistics and pitch type will all influence the outcome. 2. Pure Analog Rather than using buttons, the right analog stick is used to hit. It would be best to time your swing perfectly, but by pushing slightly to the left or right, you can alter the PCI. Pushing up produces a conventional swing, while pushing directly left or right produces contact swings. You can then perform a power swing by pushing down and up. The outcome of your shot will be influenced by the pitcher, hits type, time, and player statistics, as with all the preceding hitting kinds. 3. Directional Directional hitting is a timing-based unique solution in which you can control the ball's trajectory by controlling the left analog stick. Fly balls will be favored by influencing up, while ground balls will be selected by influencing down. Likewise, moving left or right affects which side of the field you hit. While the direction you push will affect your swing, other elements including the pitcher, pitch type, timing, and player statistics will also have an impact. Although zone hitting is widely considered the finest for competitive play, the most excellent hitting interface in MLB The Show 22 will mostly depend on personal preference. This is because you have the most control over the portion of the plate you're aiming for, whereas directional, for example, gives the computer control over this resulting in more pop-ups and fall balls. Use the right swing type for the situation. Regardless of whose hitting interface you use, you'll want to make sure you're hitting the right shots at the plate. Regardless of whose hitting interface you select, there are three primary sorts of shots you may take in MLB The Show 22. 1. Normal Swing – X Button Zone Direction – Up – Pure Analog This is the most typical swing and the one you should focus on most of the time. Depending on your player's statistics, a normal swing will provide adequate contact and power. You'll also receive good plate coverage, which means you should be able to make intense contact with the ball provided your PCI is in the proper spot. 2. Power Swing Down then up, square button, directional zone, pure analog. If you're ahead in the count, don't employ power swing. This is because the power swing is difficult to time and limits plate coverage, making it challenging to make excellent contact with the ball. When used right, it may be devastating, but the dangers are significant, so save it for when you're up 3-0 or 2-0 on the pitcher with no outs left in the inning. 3. Contact Swing Left or right, circle button, directional, zone, pure analog. The contact swing is the polar opposite of the power swing. You'll want to employ it when the count is low, such as 0-2. to two. This reduces plate coverage while increasing power. It can come in handy when your team has runners on base but no more strikes in the inning allowing you to get the ball into play and advance your teammates. Each of the three swing types has its timing and plate coverage characteristics. Your batter's statistics can influence these. For example, superior plate vision and contact statistics add to the PCI. If you're using zone hitting, you can readily observe how your swing type affects your plate coverage, as seen in the examples above, which illustrate the outcomes after a normal swing, power swing, and contact swing, in that order. 
To see the difference, look at the size of the yellow circle. Change the camera angle. If you have trouble reading pitches, altering the camera settings might be the answer. The most popular camera angle for competitive players is Strike Zone or Strike Zone 2. While this sacrifices a lot of the presentation, it offers you a much better view of the pitcher and allows you to time your swings more precisely. If you don't want to lose too much of this presentation, Strike Zone 3 is a decent option. It provides an excellent overall view of the pitcher while maintaining a nice presentational perspective. Select Settings, Settings, Gameplay, Batting and Base Running from the main menu to modify your camera angle. Toggle the Hitting View option if to your desired style. You'll see a preview of how the camera will look in real time if you do this in custom practice or during gaming. Have a bit of patience. Baseball isn't about swinging at every pitch, so if you want to improve your hitting in MLB The Show 22, you'll have to master plate discipline. Regardless of the hitting interface you're using, don't get caught swinging at every ball that comes your way. When using zone hitting, it's often preferable to put your PCI in a comfortable position and wait for the ball to approach it. You'll lose out on a lot of excellent pitches this way, but you'll have a far better chance of smashing the ball once you get to it. You can also concentrate on separate half of the strike zone. To make this technique easier to execute, use the L3 button and use the PCI Anchor tool to relocate the neutral point of your PCI. At the start of this video, hitting a baseball is extremely difficult and even the greatest players in baseball history have gone hitless numerous times. Wait for your pitch. Keep your cool, and don't give the pitcher any confidence by swinging wildly at every angle you're given. Concentrate on the pitches you excel at and crush them when they come your way. Affect the pitcher's energy and confidence. From the last point, baseball is essentially a mental war between pitcher and batter. If you swing wildly at every pitch, the pitcher's confidence will rise, which means they'll be able to locate the strike zone more efficiently and put you behind in the count. Similarly, the pitcher saves energy by throwing as many pitches during each at-bat. Their confidence will suffer if you take your time with pitches and the pitcher misses the strike zone. The strain will build as they fall behind in the count, exposing them to blunders. Similarly, if they bat deep into the count every time, they'll tire out faster, which can aid you when the pitcher throws weaker pitches later in the game. Because your opponent's relief pitchers are unlikely to have the same skill set as their starting pitchers, you want to compel them to use their bullpen. Holding the R2 button while at the plate allows you to assess the pitcher's energy and confidence. If a pitcher's energy level lowers to yellow or red, you should think about going aggressive because there's a good possibility they'll hang the ball up for you to crush. Pay close attention to swing feedback. MLB The Show 22 will provide feedback after each swing regardless of the outcome. This will display your swing timing, PCI placement, if you're utilizing zone hitting, wind direction, batter's qualities, and much more. If you're unsure what you're doing incorrectly, you can learn from this. As previously mentioned, you can utilize this information to affect what you work on in custom practice. So that concludes the MLB The Show 22 How to Hit the Ball Better video. If you have any further questions or comments, please feel free to leave them in the comments section below. Are you looking for more sports-related videos? Of course, you don't want to miss our excellent and exciting videos. And be sure to check out our other videos for more great content like this. That's it for today. Until next time. Until next time.